junkin' pool over here in Portville. Yeah, I just thought we'd do a video. I haven't done nothing with this. What, what's the holdup? I've had it for, what, two days or something? i got to tear the carburetor apart. So I went to the, or called the parts store. Actually, Debbie called most of my calls because I'm usually so greasy. I don't like to get it all over the phone and gets me out of doing it. It's a good excuse, but I was looking for power steering or uh, transmission cooler lines for this. And one place wanted like $99. Well, they only show one. And I can't understand. We called a couple places and they was only showing one line. So we ended up calling the parts, the dealership. And for both of them, they wanted a, like 126. So we just ordered them. They had one in stock. And they said they'd have the other one there tomorrow. So we can get this project out of here and uh, get something else in here. Or clean the garage. Yikes. That would be a good job for Don, but I don't know. Come on, Don. Get with the program. She'll be there. Anyway. So, yeah, yesterday I had to do a few things in town and uh, going to the store. Debbie was going to the Dollar General and Went by, I seen a guy setting this stuff out by the curb. Actually, I spotted the aluminum, a couple chunks of aluminum in there. And I ended up getting some uh, new ratchet straps. There's an extension. But uh, there's a filter in there for something. I'm not sure what that goes to. Not sure if they're a snowmobile or what they are. Probably a moped, maybe. But anyway, he says, hey, you want a toolbox? So he gave me this toolbox that was in the building. And I guess they, uh, it was his brother's and it was locked and they couldn't get in the top and it was a rattling. They couldn't find a key. So I put it in the back truck and strapped it. Actually, there were some brand new straps. I got them in the truck now, but, and I was going to buy some. They were free, so that toolbox was locked. I was curious what was rattling, so I got on to the dollar store where I dropped Debbie off. A couple block or block and a half away. I said, I'll be right back. Had to go see what the guy was putting out. But I got under this corner and I kind of wiggled it like that and pushed a little bit and I got it to pop the lock. I pulled the lock up. It's in the house and this socket set was all apart in here. I mean, all the sockets were bouncing around this top door. And I found them all, but the, the one there, the 4.5, never, it don't look like any of them had ever been used. So I got a 4.5 in the garage someplace. Stanley. Ain't the best find in the world, but then there was a, the paperwork you get, in the, that was in some of this stuff. Uh, there's some paperwork that was in here that said if you lose your key there's a phone number to call so I took the lock in with a number on it and Debbie tried calling them but one place give her another number and then another number so I guess she's going to try another place tomorrow but that was worth it just for the sockets for tearing stuff apart if I break them no money into them so not a bad box price is right I can use it because someday I'm going to get organized. Probably when I hit the lottery. Anyway. I have been organized for a little bit. I've been working on that car. I took it for a pretty long drive today. Still got blow by it. So I've been watching the videos and they claim that to uh, Reset the valves. You're supposed to do it every 12,000. They said that'll knock a lot of that blow-by down. And, of course, you check the compression. And I'd have to get a diesel compression gauge. Uh, I think they were supposed to be over 400 pounds of pressure. Compression. So I may do that, but I'm going to probably set the valves and see what it does. 
change of hydraulics. Took the door panel off today and just temporarily put the window up. So I didn't have to cover it if it rained. Got my reflection in there. That's scary. But yeah, I took it for a pretty long drive today. I probably put 20 miles on it playing around in the area. Fun to drive. Come home and I did a little bit to it, clean the breather. I got it running, running fairly good. That's a pretty nice car. I like it. So I found out they got a couple um, Mercedes Benz salvage yards around here, probably 50 miles from here. Give or take a few miles. I might have to. Well, actually, we were trying to call them because there's a few small things I need, like some couple parts for that window and all kinds of information on them on the computer. They've been around for so many years and there's quite a few serious collectors. Do a lot of a lot of nice in, in, informational videos like it isn't shutting off and there's a a little vacuum relay. So apparently I need that. I gotta I gotta probably get a vacuum pressure kit and but we did call the or Debbie actually called the window place. They said uh, 220 on this window, 228 with a molding and everything. We said, you want some pictures? And they said, no, nope, just let us know when you're coming. We'll order the window a couple days ahead of time. And so I think we're going to go ahead and put this this thing on the road. And I'll probably just cut a piece of plexiglass for this. Because I'd like to find a whole truck, but... All a little bit of scrap in it. Not much, but... I've got my big truck for the bigger loads, unless I happen to find it on the curb. I just thought I'd do a quick video. Won't be long, the snow will be knee deep. It's good working weather. But got a few projects, always lining up projects. Hope everybody's having a good day. Here's a snow plow that I didn't sell last year and I was sure would sell. Put on a quad or a good sized garden tractor. Of poured in good shape, other than just a little bit of uh, blew off with the compressor. The edges and everything are good on it, cutting edges. I usually sell these pretty good. I'm gonna try again this year, that's why I didn't put it all back. Well, thanks for stopping by Porville. I'm gonna keep this video kind of short. Have a good day. We'll find a project. Goodbye now.